In this video, we're going to use a TI calculator to test the hypothesis using a p-value approach. So here's our um, hypothesis. And we need to first figure this value out, though, before we can continue. So we take the values 150 for n, 0.65 for p naught, right there. And then we enter that in there, and we calculate it. And this is true. So since this is true, we can use a normal uh, distribution to test this hypothesis. So we move on to the next thing and find the p-value. Here they say this is the p-value. Well, how do we do it in the TI? Well, here's the TI calculator. We turn it on. We click Stat. Then we go over to Tests. Then down to number 5, one prop Z test. We hit Enter. Then we put in our p naught value. That's uh, 0.65. Then we go down to our x value of 87, our n value of 150. We go over to the less than, click enter, and then we go down to calculate. The draw will draw a graph, but if we calculate it, it will give us the values we want. So here is the p value, 0 0.036, and that's what this p value is here. So you can grab that information quite quickly. This would be the z uh, statistic if you needed that but for the p-value it would be right here. Now we take that information and we compare it to the level of significance. So this p-value is less than this level of significance, so we reject the null hypothesis. So if the p-value is less than this, you reject the null hypothesis. If it is not less than this, you do not reject the null hypothesis. And that's what this says. Reject the null hypothesis because the p-value is less than alpha. Let's look at a different problem here. Previously, 5% of mothers smoked more than 21 cigarettes during their pregnancy. An obstetrician believes that the percentage of mothers who smoke 21 cigarettes or more is less than 5% today. She randomly selects 120 pregnant mothers and finds that 5 of them smoked 21 or more cigarettes during pregnancy. Test the researcher's statement at the level 0 0.05 of significance. Okay, So we set up our hypothesis. It was said that 5% smoked at the beginning, and now we want to say less than 5% smoke. So we have to look at our less than or greater than 10 thing. So here's our inequality that has to be true in order to use a normal distribution, and it happens to be false this time. This is not true. It's not greater than 10. So we can't go the normal distribution route and uh, with a p-value that way. We have to use a binomial. And we can still do that on the TI calculator. But we have to understand what we're wanting to get. It's a left-hand tail test. So if you think of a distribution, we have that found five of them up here. okay? And we're saying less than 5%. So what we're going to do is find the probability that's less than or equal to 5. So the left-hand tail. So we want 0, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, and that's going to be our p-value with the binomial uh, distribution. So let's get the calculator here. We turn it on. We press. Let's clear it here. We press second vars, and then we go down to binome CDF because that's going to be a cumulative. Okay, we select that one. Then we enter the values n, p naught, and then our x value. So our n in this case was 120, I believe. I remove that there. Yep. Do a comma. This is the comma. Our p, our probability, p naught, 0 0.05, comma, and then we enter the value x which would be how many successes there are. We want five, and then it will go less. It goes down. It always goes to the left. So we have five or less, less than or equal to five. All right, then we hit Enter, and we get 0 .44154, 0 .4415. That will be the p-value that we are looking at here, since, it was, since we weren't able to um, satisfy the initial inequality. Now we'll take that p-value and compare it to the p naught value, or excuse me, the level of significance, which is 
0.05. This is greater than that, so we will not reject the null hypothesis. Okay? So what that means is we're not going to reject this hypothesis, so there's not enough evidence to support that it is less than 5%. And that's what this statement will here say. No, because the p-value is greater than alpha, there's not su sufficient evidence to conclude that the percentage of mothers who s smoke 21 or more cigarettes during pregnancy is less than 5%, meaning we do not reject the null hypothesis. So that's how you can use the TI calculator uh, in completing hypothesis testing on population, po population proportions.